Dear Oft, Augustus, and Lily, I must congratulate you on your well-calculated act of retribution. Whilst many and most captains might and would consider this an act of mutiny, I applaud your audacity in light of recent events. Well done, well done. I do not know what it was that you put in my supper last night, as I am unfamiliar with any form of sedative that tastes of peppermint, but I can only say that it was effective. The people of Thessalonica are likewise impressed by your work, and three of the local newspapers featured photographs of your humorous tableau. One would think that the Greeks would have easily taken offense at such an addition to their beloved statue of Alexander the Great, but they have responded with nothing short of enthusiasm. Perhaps they were impressed that there was enough room on the horse for both of us. So impressed were they, in fact, that it was well over two hours before anyone untied me. I received several compliments on the floral dress, which I can only assume by the spacious bust belongs to Oft's Aunt Petunia, who visited last week. I presume she will be wanting it back, so I have taken the liberty of removing what little bird seed was left from the pockets, and sending it to the cleaners to remove that which was left behind by the birds. I am assuming the lipstick and rouge was Lily's idea. Well played. I do not know whose idea it was to put bubble soap in the chimney on my hat, but well played. The sardines in my beard might have been a wee bit overambitious, and I believe most of them wriggled free before I gained consciousness, but all things considered, exceptional work, and message received loud and clear. Oft, I apologize for borrowing your electrodes to try and reanimate that dead badger. Augustus, I apologize for using your spare left arm to clean it up. Lily, I apologize for hiding what was left of it in your hammock. It absolutely will not happen again. As I do not have access to a chronograph at the moment, I shall seal this message inside a bottle and fill said bottle with ethereous gas and let it go over the city. Upon receiving it, kindly come and pick me up at the police station in Thessalonica and we can put all this unpleasant business behind us. Your Captain, Edward Von Arkham. P.S. Your haste would be greatly appreciated. Some of the other guests at the station are insisting that I put on Aunt Petunia's dress.